As a pediatric nurse surgeon, about 50% of our practice is dealing with hydrocephalus, which is where you have an inability to reabsorb cerebral spinal fluid. The only way to treat this currently is to place what's called a shunt device, and it's basically tubing that goes from the ventricle system of the brain underneath the skin to the abdomen. This is a technology that's been around since the 1950s, and there's been very little innovation since that time. Part of the problem with the current technology is the failure rate's extraordinarily high. Shunts fail often, but for us, our son has had a total of 11 brain surgeries due to the fact that we couldn't get a shunt to work. So um, it, it's a little bit exaggerated in our case, but for me, we're always kind of on pins and needles that at some point the shunt will stop working again. I thought this seemed like a ridiculous problem and something that with modern technology we could certainly do a better job at. The first time that I met Sam, he invited me out to Children's Hospital to view a surgery. Uh, this was a surgery to replace a shunt that had failed. And after seeing the surgery, uh, this was performed on a small child, uh, I was hooked. And from that time on, Sam and I have been working closely together. We were funded by the Coulter Foundation to actually go into the lab and uh, build the prototype devices of a failure-resistant shunt. We started with throwing all the existing ideas out the window and uh, starting fresh uh, with a focus on preventing failure. The shunt design that we have developed is entirely different from the existing shunt technology. Uh, the existing devices are, are uh, passive and not smart. The main goal of our work is to build a shunt that has a lower likelihood of failure, but it's also a smart device, so it can uh, diagnose if a problem does occur and uh, can provide feedback to the clinician to help tailor uh, the treatment to the patient. This began as a research project. Uh, Sam and I had some ideas, but immediately it became a commercialization project. It's one thing to have an idea, but it's a totally different matter to actually be able to take your idea and make something real of it. And the Center for Commercialization has uh, made that a possibility for us. The purpose of the Entrepreneur in Residence program is manifested in this very project, Aqueduct. It is the the mission for our EIRs is to go identify technologies that are appropriate for new company starts. And in this case, it was my um, good fortune to be the EIR in the room when Sam and Barry first presented their concepts and technologies to the department. For me, my whole background has been developing medical devices and complex medical devices. There was just sort of this whole confluence of, of things that made it right. We've worked with experts in business development, uh, intellectual property, uh, grant writing, and entrepreneurship, uh, all provided as resources from C4C. You know, the beauty of people like Sam and Barry is they both have really good strengths, and they know what those strengths are, and they're comfortable with them, but they also know where they don't have strengths, and they're willing to bring other people in to help them and complement them. The team dynamic uh, together with the resources that C4C can bring has made it possible for the company to move forward from a research project to a real company in almost a year. In my work as a technology manager, together with the role of uh, EIR and a grant writer manager, Jeanette Ennis, we advanced uh, Aqueduct and we were able to help them get almost half a million dollars worth of funding and developed the technology to, from a research project to a benchtop system and uh, soon to be a prototype. It to me feels like it's about time that something new um, can be introduced for people with hydrocephalus and just help improve the quality of life for people that have hydrocephalus. Um, it's, just, it's just a really exciting thing. We have the opportunity here to really reduce the number of brain surgeries on children and, and frankly on adults with a normal pressure or sort of late onset hydrocephalus. And at this stage, uh, we believe that the markets are uh, significant uh, and we think that we have a good strategy for introducing a product into those markets. So we think we can do much better than what the current state is. And the real end motivation for me is to help my families and make their lives better.